Hi, I'm Bill Lamla, Chair of the Chemistry Department here at Nazareth College. But today I'm here to talk to you about a project I've been working on for the last several years. Well, in honesty, it's been a dream of mine since I came to Nazareth 31 years ago. And that is the new Integrated Center for Math and Science here at Nazareth College. Now, let me talk to you about the five guiding principles we use when we design this facility. As we were looking at designing this new center for math and science, it was important for us to keep it a student-focused building. What does that mean? Well, it means that the students were involved in the planning process from day one, telling us what kind of features they needed in the building, what kind of learning environments were important to them. Therefore, the collaborative center and the associated math and science tutoring centers are located physically in the heart of the building. In addition, there were two other types of environments for students to study. These would be the group study rooms and the quiet study alcoves with comfortable furniture. This building also has a gross anatomy lab, so students in the health and human services areas can do their study of the human form within the math and science building and not have to go off campus. One of the things we realized as we were designing the building is that it needed to be flexible for different learning environments, different teaching pedagogies, and for planning for the future. Therefore, all of our laboratories are designed 16 students maximum, something you won't necessarily find at other institutions, and have the same format. It was important in the design of this building that it be sustainable, that we follow principles of LEAD, Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. This building will be at least LEED certified silver, possibly LEED certified gold. Simple things such as replacing our slate roof with a natural rubber material that is sustainable for the environment. This building also is going to be the focus of a new program we're developing in sustainability. One of the biggest changes in curriculum over the last several years is the incorporation of undergraduate research into all of our programs in math and science. Therefore, there will be 10 dedicated spaces for research in the building in mathematics, biology, and chemistry so students can really get a jump start on this research experience. This facility will be the most technologically advanced building on campus, and that's important when we're talking about math and science. This means we'll have Wi-Fi throughout, smart boards in both classrooms and labs, laptop accessibility everywhere. We truly will be a building that is current with new technologies today, but easily upgradable so we remain at the state-of-the-art forefront into the future. I've now told you some of the features of our new Integrated Center for Math and Science. This building will be open in fall of 2012, and I look forward to being able to show you around in person.